Hello everyone and welcome to Majesty 2 with Black Knight. And this is the beginning of a of another series where well I'm going to play Majesty 2 with uh, DLCs, add-ons and stuff like that. There are three add-ons to this game, so there will be three more well add-on series from this uh, series going to be. But we're beginning with Majesty 2 and with a campaign. I already did uh, a few missions, I reckon, but I haven't recorded them. So we're going to start a new campaign. And by starting a new campaign, you will write your progress in it. Overwrite your progress in it. Well, that's good. Ardenia. Glorious Ardenia. For the last five centuries, descendants of the great king have sat upon this throne. Indeed, was the great king, our first ruler, who united the lands from the southern seas to the northern fields. He whose blade was the death of a thousand foes. And each king thereafter followed the tradition, slaying dragons, hunting down necromancers, and exterminating legions of goblins and rats. Thus, each in their time came to be known as Great. But our good King Leonard was born to hard times. The necromancers of old had long since been vanquished, and the rats had grown small and pitiful. And as he grew older, our king came to fear the worst that his portrait might never hang in the hall of the great kings. Though he had yet to prove his mettle, the blood of a hero ran swift in his veins. Thus, our brave king, in his wisdom, determined that he would summon up the most terrible baron of hell. For indeed, all of Ardania would sing the praises of any mortal who could slay such a beast. And so, applying all their skill and concentration, the court mages performed the terrible ritual. And the demon lord did appear. Leonard never wavered, but stood locked in his deadly contest for five long days. But alas, in the end, the demon beast prevailed. And so that spawn of hell took Leonard's place on the throne. Since then, many princes and dukes have perished in futile effort to destroy the beast. Darkness and despair have fallen over Ardania. But now I have found you, your majesty, the last heir of the great king's bloodline. You, our only hope. Your kingdom awaits you, sire. It's doing an auto login check. Why is it doing an auto login check now? Did they actually change something here in this game? That it means to have. Yeah, we're going to skip that anyway. So here it is, we uh, got the Royal Advisor's Mansion, it's a uh, tutorial, so we can learn to rule a kingdom here. I actually already know that, I have gotten quite far in the past, I have gotten, completed that one and gotten to those things. But we first have to do the Engine of Commerce. And after that, we can go there with the, um, there, somewhere around here. Baron's Bill, Engine of Commerce. And Baron's Bill needs the Great Towers. Great Towers are... There. The Engine's... Needed to need to complete this mission is the Baron's Bill. Well, that's, that's that one. To complete the engine, uh, to the Baron's Bill, we need to uh, complete the engine of commerce and the Great Towers, and that that's one. 
uh, so probably those two can be done at the same time somewhat but first we're going to do the engine of commerce now that's a novice difficulty level of course you just started the game so you can also randomize stuff so we're going to randomize locations of monsters dens and places for construction of temples and trading posts this adds a dramatically this has no dramatically effect on the difficulty of the mission so if we do that the missions will become more and more and more difficult good morning your majesty My, maybe still an easier. early riser i see i have news for you while we wait for your breakfast yesterday after you retired i continued negotiation with the head of the local merchants guild well, the guild is ready to sign a trade agreement with you. Believe me, sire, the kingdom needs this. There are certain concessions that need to be met, but the investment is well worth it. Soon a steady stream of gold will flow into your treasury. Ah, your breakfast has arrived. Well, the details will wait. Bon appetit, sire. We're going to start then. Your Majesty, to develop trade, you need to build the marketplace first. While your peasants are working, send heroes to the port. The Merchants Guild representative is afraid for his safety and refuses to travel alone. The port is located to the northeast of your palace. And there's the Merchants Guild. We need to get there. And establish a safe route from here to here. To each um, trade post. Treasure chests around. Since we will be fighting tax collector, a lot of threats. Uh, Rangers will be very good. As you can see, he's uh, level one with basic. My quest begins. And he picked an elixir of rabbit speed out of that thing. And another one, I guess. I might make okay, so, so we have two rangers Knowledge and skill grow. Where to journey next? Not today. Yeah, Where does level duty level call so warriors? Come on, a bit more. My knowledge and skill grows. <laughs> My aim knowledge is so I can't handle it okay, alone. Yeah, that sounds good. Give me a hand. My knowledge and skill grow. They will get money the more they uh, kill, and that money will be spent in my mind. Buy health potions, amulet of regeneration. More gold, your majesty. Happy to serve. And this is one of their basic skills. Why they're so strong against threats. More gold, your majesty. You can see on the top right here where uh, what level they uh, become. That they do have a big advantage. Everything that has. Uh, Damage to the horse can be healed.
Danger is my Where middle name. Where does duty call me? Wow, you didn't kill it instantly. More gold, your majesty! Come here. Secret heal holy attack. Oh, we've got something there, but we can't put a bounty on it. Let's see here those flags. A fear flag, also a D flag. Default flag. We can say that uh, uh, flags are 200, four flags and attack flags. Because healing also gives them experience, as you can see. The clerics and rangers. Did I put up that fire? I got a gun check. The clerics I'm just bought it. Level seven, but that's too solid. She can't actually kill him. A reward for my toil. Oh, oh, oh. That's a bit late, isn't it? More gold, your man. I have knowledge and skill grows. We still have two special attacks. Only one of them is special attacks. Give me a hand. Oh, you got an amulet on this generation. Give me a hand. And a special oh, attack. Oh, I could hit it from a hundred paces. See also we can up the upgrade the blade masters of paladins, but that's not on this person. We can't build any temples in here. If they are outnumbered, they actually don't fight anymore, just, just run. Every time they are outnumbered. That's nice. Did I put out that fire before I left? I better go check. More gold, your majesty! Yes, gold. Okay. Well, there, but the, uh, the advantage of rogues is that whenever there's a Where's body, the gold? Uh, grave, 
nearby, they will catch me. For example, we have those uh, things right there. Oh, they don't actually drop it. That's a shame. Bad example. But there's something else dying around here. Yeah, here. Here is. Oh. It's just this. Let's see, that's one of the rogues going for the Yeah, that's the one. Let's go with it. My aim is through! That thing has five ducats or gold in it. If there was a rope which nearby, is my which at this point isn't, my ambition that has rope paid would off. grab that five gold and would have money faster for help. And as you can see, it's fleeing because there's a skeleton level five. She can be skeleton level five. Just so which you is my path? And then she got blue, and she's going to fight, and now she's going to fight. She's going to fight. She's going to fight. She's going to fight. She's got a level 5 warrior with her, so every time a skeleton comes out and attacks the warrior, the warrior will taunt everything nearby. Yeah! Looks like good odds. That means that the warrior will then take the hit and the rogue will kill. But as soon as there's three skeletons, the rogue still runs <coughs> and leave the, leave the warrior alone. <coughs> and the warrior still has to be paid off. Rogues though, are, uh, they love money, they're capable trees and avoid of fights like I said. And warriors are very tough. <coughs> My ambition has paid off. It's also capable to fight very well, so that actually helps. There. We've built all four of those, the whole of course is in this mission. Mostly because of the boards. Where's the uh, goal? Boards or heroes you had in previous missions to be rehired in a mission you are at that point playing. And you can also build guard houses. You can build one of them. Right there. Guard houses will have no guards running around, walking around. Like uh, those ones, although they are royal ones. Knowledge and skill grow. Task collector. Meaning that, well, they're not royal, but. And all that kind of stuff. I'm going to do that and that. There will be a hundred gold in it each. I take the path. Let's, Let's see, path. we've got three of each. Four in total. All these boring sights. There we go. Hold your majesty. That way it goes. Then they'll do five times the damage. Eight times the damage against undead. 
Not against living, and dead. And we're going to have to do something about those extra dwarf flags. Let's put 100 extra gold in there. We've got gold charters. We can also use the extortion. The local guild instantly get us all tax information from the country. Minus the cut. And there's a suitable trading place. We can't still, we still can't build that because we didn't complete the quest. Okay, is that smart to do? I guess not, but... Oh, we didn't actually take any damage from that. We now have Rogue doing... This ain't worth it. And already fleeing from a skeleton. Meaning that the skeleton was stronger than the rope. And she revealed. She was in the attack again. My ambition has paid off. Didn't grab the five gold. Where does duty call? Pitch! Reds mostly are still small. And that's a skeleton archer. These uh, ropes do have the disadvantage of. I've gotten tired of this. And that's why I'm actually doing this exploration here. Lady, please. And she is not going to get it. And that's the problem. If she had fought, she would have lived. Where does Where's the gold? Let's first upgrade that a bit. And we we'll just have to resurrect the rogue. Gold, your majesty. Tax collector. More gold, your majesty. Yeah, we'll have one, so it only costs the uh, The faster they die, the more they uh, die at higher level. Where's the gold? Each level they can uh, get higher, the more it will go faster. What are you doing? It's healing. So you're following the rogue. Is doing an exploration quest. Is that an exploration quest? Finding water. The thing is, that's what exploration clocks do. Which is my cat? She's now going to buy new stuff. It's collecting loot. That's a good thing. What did you get? And an a health potion. What is? Why does she get a health potion? Yeah, well. This is funny. Oh, you're attacking me? Not anymore. And then she's going to buy me stuff. What did you get? Five health potions. What the as you can see, she can poison all the Poison to die right?
we've got two rangers, two rangers in exploration. And these rangers have 19 gold, improved leather armor, so he's got a bit of defense. But he's still got the basic ranged weapon. And he wants that 300 gold. Exploring for your majesty is a pleasure. And an ancient graveyard too. He's got a lot of gold. Knowledge and skill grow. What he is not good. Assault flag, attack flags. Then first. Let's see. Oh, I can let it Where does oh. duty call me? Going for the beer then. Okay. Uh, that was the countdown, guys. I am pausing it here now. In the next video, which will go online tomorrow, we will continue this mission and hopefully complete it too but i'm not going to be able to promise anything so well we'll at least continue this tomorrow so goodbye and good night